Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Rye Free Reading Room Tales for Tots. My name is Granny Jean, and I'm hoping that your mommy and daddy or your caregivers are there with you to help uh, you, we all enjoy this program together, and especially drowning me out and singing the songs with us and keeping me in tune, okay? So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Sure. And sometimes we need soldiers to keep the peace and keep us safe. And a long time ago, there was a man called the Duke of York. And he had lots of soldiers working with him. And he called them his men. Let me see all of your, your little fingers. Those are the men. And let's, let's see how they go up the hill. Here we go. Oh, the noble Duke of York had 10,000 men. And he marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were halfway up the hill, they were neither up nor down. Now, did you find where up and down are? Huh? Did you? Let's see if we can do that again. And you, you try and show me where up and down are. Oh, the noble Duke of York had 10,000 men. And he marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were halfway up the hill, they were neither up nor down. Ah, very good. Very good. I saw some of you trying. That was great. <coughs> now, <coughs> we have here some, a farmer who's growing watermelons. <coughs> and over here is a bay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is a bay. And it has some sailboats in it. It's a beautiful place to sail a boat. And let's see what we have here. Down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, <gasps> Did you ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, Where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother will say, oh, Did you ever see a llama eating his pajamas? There he is, down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, oh, did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? What's a moose? He's a big animal. There he is. Lives in the forest. Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say, Hmm. Hmm. Did you ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Yeah. Goodness me. Well, <clears throat> Wizzy Wizard has a tip for our, our caregivers or your parents. Good morning, Wizzy. And what is your tip of this week? Well, we mostly talk to children with, with um, nouns, that's names of things, but they need to build their vocabulary with adjectives and adverbs and verbs and um, prepositions, of placement of things, of things doing and going and 
and um, describing things. They need more words than just the nouns. So try to build their vocabulary by using them when you're talking with them. There we go. <clears throat> well, the first book I have is by Sue Williams. I went walking. What do you see there? I see a little boy and I see a green duck. Do you? Huh? Let's see if you can guess what this little boy is seeing before we turn the page. I went walking. What did you see? Now, do you see a black tail in that basket? Do you? I wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. Can you guess? Ah, I saw a black cat. Ah, looking at me. And I guess he knows that black cat pretty well, right? He's very gentle with that cat, I know. I went walking. What did you see? Now, whose tail could that be? Huh? Do you have any idea? Ha! Huh. I saw a brown horse looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? Oh, I see some kind of an animal there. I saw a red cow looking at me. There she is, a big cow. She gives us milk, doesn't she? I went walking. What did you see? I see something little green sticking up a tail. Uh, do you think that might be something we've already seen? Oh. Ha! I saw a green duck looking at me. I went walking. What did you see? Well, I see a back end of something there. Looks pretty dirty. What could that be? Oh. I saw... <clears throat> Oops. We skipped a page here, sorry about that. Goodness me. I saw a pink pig. He's pink after I washed the mud off him, right? Yeah. A pink pig looking at me. I went walking. Now oh. oh, what's that animal doing? He's scratching the dirt. What kind of animal does that? And shoots the dirt all over, huh? Look, the little boy's protecting himself. What did I see? I saw a yellow duck looking, a dog looking at me. Gracious. I went walking. What did you see? Look at all those animals. Wow. I saw a lot of animals following me. Oh, they all think that little boy is very special. I guess he's very kind to his animals, isn't he? Sure is. They look like they're very, very fond of that little boy. He's probably very gentle with them, too. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> What we have out there in the garden, we also have a big spider web. Oh my goodness, that spider web is big. And it is strong. That's what the spiders catch the little bugs with. But we're gonna pretend it's very strong. And guess who's playing on it? What is that? This is a, an elephant. Can you see that? Huh? An elephant, one little elephant. Let's pretend we, we have an elephant on a spider web. One little elephant went out to play on a spider's web one day. He had such enormous fun. He asked another elephant to come. How many? Now we have two. Two little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Three. 
three little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. Ah, how many? Wow, four. Four little elephants went out to play on a spider's web one day. They had such enormous fun. They asked another elephant to come. How many? Five. Five. There. How many fingers do you have on one hand? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Well, some people go out on the water in sailboats, and some go out in what? They go out in <clears throat> motorboats, and these people went out in a wash tub. <laughs> Look at that. Three men in a tub. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Helpers, they are all three. Okay, come on, you, you help me with this one. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, three men in a tub, and who do you think they be? The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker. Helpers, they are all three. So what does the butcher do? What kind of work does he do? He cuts the meat. Oh, the butcher cuts the meat. The butcher cuts the meat. Hi-ho, the dairy-o, oh, the butcher cuts the meat. And the baker bakes the bread. The baker bakes the bread. Hi ho, the dairy o, oh, the baker bakes the bread, and the candlestick maker makes the light. The candlestick maker makes the light. Hi ho, the dairy o, oh, the candlestick maker makes the light. Well, that was very good. I'm glad you tried. That's wonderful. What do we have here? But Babar. What kind of animal is Babar? He's an elephant. He's an elephant, a very famous elephant in storybooks. And Babar was <laughs> famous when I was a little girl, too, and I loved Babar. Well, Babar has a long nose and great big ears, doesn't he? So let's pretend we're an elephant. Can you do this with me? The elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes. And goodness gracious, what a nose. He sure does have a long nose. But it's a very handy one, that's for sure, and very strong. So here we go. The elephant goes like this and that. He's terribly big and he's terribly fat. He has no fingers. He has different toes. And Goodness gracious, what a nose. My goodness me. Bouncing babies. Oh, my goodness me. They're babies such a short time, but they're so much fun and so much work, too. Bouncing Babies by Mark Bradlow. And here we go. Baby Sophie gives a yawn <gasps> oh, when she wakes just after dawn. When is dawn? That's just about when the sun starts to come up. Baby Benny on the mat sucks his toes. Can you do that? Oh, babies can because they're their legs are so short. But then as we get older, our legs get freed long, don't they? Anna pulls her sweater on and disappears. Now, where's she gone? Look, she's trying to dress herself. Can you dress yourself? I bet you can. Little baby Catherine dribbles milk all down her chin. Look at that. Well, a lot of us do that. 
You don't have to be a baby to do that, no. Bouncing baby Anthony sucks his thumb contentedly. Do you suck your thumb? I think I did when I was a baby. Little baby Ruby Rose always has a runny nose. Tired little baby Freddy has a nap, and so does Teddy. Look at that. Baby Daisy feels so pleased. She's learned to crawl on hands and knees. Oh my, she's getting to be big fast, isn't she? Baby Jack with curly hair <laughs> throws his supper everywhere. Well, babies do that. Baby Arthur laughs and laughs, splashing and splishing in the bath. You know, he loves his bath time. Little babies made in heaven go to sleep at half past seven. Ha, ah, but when the owl says twit doo, babies wake at half past two. <laughs> On mine did too. <laughs> yes, they did. And that was ba Bouncing Babies by Mike Brownlow. <clears throat> well, let's go back and go outside here. Let's see. What do we see? Out in my backyard, I see some ducks. I do. And I'll bet they have some babies hidden somewhere. I haven't seen any yet, but I know that they're there in the air. Yes, they are. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, right? You have five, too. So you can pretend you have ducks, right? Five little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. <coughs> Mommy duck said, quack, quack, quack. Four little ducks came swimming back. Four little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. Oh, daddy duck said, quack, quack, quack. Three little ducks came swimming back. Three little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. Um, Grandma duck said, quack, quack, quack. Two little ducks came swimming back. Two little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. Auntie duck said, quack, quack, quack. One little duck came swimming back. One little duck went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. Ah, Grandpa Duck said, quack, quack, quack. No little ducks came swimming back. No little ducks went swimming one day, over and under and far, far away. <gasps> Granny Jean Duck said, quack, quack, quack. Five little ducks came swimming back. <laughs> well, out in the garden, there are creatures that are good for our plants and some that aren't. And this one does a lot of damage. He's a little snail. And he comes out at night and eats up our plants. So here we go. Slowly, slowly. And there's a little tickly game, mommies and daddies. So do this with your babies. Here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly, up the wooden rail. Now here's the mouse. He's out there too. Quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly round about the house. And it's a great little kick, tickly game. Good, good distraction for some, sometimes when there's a 
problem. <laughs> Here we go. Slowly, slowly, very slowly creeps the garden snail. Slowly, slowly, very slowly up the wooden rail. <gasps> quickly, quickly, very quickly runs a little mouse. Quickly, quickly, very quickly run about the house. Squeak, squeak. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now I have a book today called Dancing Feet by Lindsay Craig. <coughs> tippity, tippity, little black feet. Who's making that tippity beat? <coughs> Excuse me. Ladybug is dance or ladybugs are dancing now tippity feet. Tippity tippity happy feet. Stompity stompity big gray feet. Who is dancing that stompity beat? Well, whose foot is that, do you think? Oh, we're just talking about that animal. Doesn't have any toes like we do. Elephant is dancing on stompity feet. Stompity, stompity, happy feet. Slappity, slappity. <clears throat> A webbed orange feet. Who is dancing that slappity beat? Who is that? We're just talking about him, huh? Is that a duck? Ducks are dancing on stompity feet. A slappity feet. Slappity, slappity, happy feet. <clears throat> <clears throat> creepity, creepity. Lots of, <clears throat> lots of purple feet. Who is dancing that creepity beat? Huh? A little bit of poetic license here. <clears throat> Caterpillars dancing that on creepity feet. Creepity, creepity, happy feet. He has six legs, caterpillar. Thumpity, thumpity, furry brown feet. Who is dancing that thumpity beat? Ah, I think I know who is furry and brown and big. Ah. Bear is dancing on thumpity feet. Thumpity, thumpity, happy feet. There he is, he's dancing too. Clickety, clickety, long green feet. Who is dancing that clickety beat? Who do you think that is, huh? Ah, let's see. Ah, lizard is dancing on creepity feet. Clickety, clickety, happy feet. Yeah, there he is. And he has long, thin toes that have nails on them. Stompity, stampity, stampity, hear our feet. Who is dancing that stampity beat? We are stamping on stampity feet. Stampity, stampity, happy feet. Ah, creepity, slappity, stompity. Clickety, right? Oh, all those children pretending they're different little bugs. Right? That is by Lindsay Craig, Dancing Feet. <clears throat> well, looks looks like it's getting a little bit late here, and some of us might be taking naps very soon. We'll pretend it's nighttime though, shall we? The man in the moon looked out of the moon, looked out of the moon and said, it is time for all the children on earth to think about going to bed. Huh? What do you think? I'm not sure. Well, some of you might be. I know that probably if you're waking half past dawn that you probably are ready. I know your mom is. There he is. We pretend that there's a man in the moon. The man in the moon looked out of the moon, looked out of the moon and said, it is time for all the children on earth to think about going to bed. Yeah, we live on a, a big round world. 
all of the earth. Well, looks like my baby is ready. If you want to help me sing a, a song for her, it's called a lullaby, right? rock a bye, baby, on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle will fall. She's asleep. I think she is. Yeah. So we'll, we'll sing our goodbye song very quietly. Okay? So bye-bye to Baba the elephant. And bye-bye to the bouncy too. And bye-bye to my ducks and the men in the tub. It's time to say goodbye. And bye-bye to the men in the morning. And bye-bye to the llama too. And bye-bye to Granny Jean. It's time to say goodbye. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next week. <laughs>